that is uh, my forthcoming book it is an english novel title is undying echoes of silence and uh, it is to be brought out by amarilis a delhi based uh, publish house it is an imprint of manjul publish house and uh, you know this uh, undying echoes of silence is based on a true story uh, true story that uh, you know i i was born in a village namely paleri in in malabar area and uh, in paleri 1957 on march 30th a woman a girl uh, she was brutally murdered after rape in my village and that was the first recorded rape murder in democratic kerala before that during feudal period many women many girls might what to have been murdered and you know raped and murdered but in, a, in the democratic state of kerala paleri manikams was the first recorded rape murder that was in 1957 and uh, people know that who was behind it there was a landlord and his henchmen were there there were uh, many people like that five or six people and you know what they did to 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 rape this girl you know they in effect you know separated her isolated that girl from her neighborhood by many means there was a the, the theater performance the same day in the village which was org- deliberately organized by the landlord to take the people attack the people to that to the venue of the theater performance so all the neighbor neighboring people were at the theater and this girl was the and he influenced his her mother in law not to send her to to watch the performance theater performance and she was she was really isolated and then in the night the people came and uh, uh, she didn't yield to the wishes she resisted so she said no and she was assaulted she resisted finally she was murdered so this is the real incident so my fiction is based on that it is like this after 15 half a century that is in present day world a crime investigator was born in now a crime in- investigator now may living in delhi or you know some bombay because he belongs to that village out of fancy you know some kind of curiosity he goes back to a village to investigate into the real cause of the murder and one by one he uh it traces out who were the real culprits who were the criminals behind them i i i belong to that village i was born and brought up there from from my child from from my childhood i used to hear people talk about this incident palari manikam murder case and the, the 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 house she lived is very close to my house when we go to the school because it was a haunted house then because it was a house where the, there happened a murder and it was you know abandoned by its owners so it was a uh, it is scared us you know we were afraid to walk by the house so it remained a kind of uh, you know what i would say kind of maybe a, a folk tale or a myth or you know enigma was there about this house so when i after that i shifted in the village <clears throat> i came to know about how women live in my village in, in, the, in the city what is there so uh, because of this maybe of my awareness and my background i began to associate these two things you know i wrote it first first in 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 my in malayalam then i translated it into english now it is coming out in uh, from the amrilis uh, uh publishing house it also was made into a movie it was acted by mamuti our leading he did the lead role in that directed by the same director and uh, which was award winning movie but you know what is interesting about the movie is that it it was commercially successful it was success, commercial success that movie same time it got many awards for the best movie for best music for best actor best actress so that is where a rare combination happens in especially in film industry this if a movie becomes you know commercially viable or successful that means that it won't have any any kind of you know social or you know artistic value but this defies that you know concept